Hey, Herb Brown, Brown Town, you know what it is, man. We out here flexing with Dex, man. This major right here, agriculture, entrepreneur, young black farmer, Brunswick County, South Side VA. It's major. We walking, talking in the farm. Let's go. So, VA. Herb, y'all got nice. Nice out here, Herb. Appreciate it, man. We've been working at it for a while, man. Trying to trying to pull it all together. It's been a journey, man. But you know, we here and that's right. Trying to rock and roll it. You know how it is. That's right. Yeah. People coming through. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. It's pops. Okay. Pops on the gator down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? No, no, Herb was telling you, you need, they need some help out here. Huh? Need yeah. some help out here. Everybody ain't made for it. That's right. Yeah. But they gon' they gon' made for the way the world is. <coughs> mm -hmm. You know, you gonna need this. Hey, if you don't like farming, don't talk with your mouth full. God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey y'all gotta eat, right? Yeah. yeah everybody gotta right. eat. Hey, flexing with Dex Podcast, we hanging at the Brown Town Man Farms, man. Hey, Herb Brown, his dad just rolled up. Hey, say hello to the people, Mr. Brown. Hey, y'all, y'all doing? All right, all, all right. right. Long time farmer. How long <laughs> you been farming, Mr. Brown? Oh man, basically all my life. Yes, yeah, so I walk behind my daddy, man, and drop and plant. Y'all got a beautiful establishment out here. Yeah. Beautiful morning. Yep. Season just starting. So, weather about to break. You know, by the time the summer come, we'll have more produce available. You know, for us, you know, the squash and the cucumbers and mm -hmm. um, tomatoes and peppers and everything like that. So, right now it's strawberry season. We don't have a real big yield at the moment. So, we'll probably get back to picking in another couple of days. And then from strawberries, we'll go to blueberries. And then from there, we'll do a, um, the summer stuff will start coming yeah. in. But the main thing or the main time of year for us is the fall. So when we <clears> growing like the collard greens, everybody love the collard greens and sweet potatoes okay. and kale and different greens. Love the collard greens. Yeah. Love the collard greens. Mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. see them on social media talking about the strawberries, how good they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody love the strawberry, man. Yeah. You know, this is our 10th year growing strawberries. Okay. Yeah, 10th okay. season. Yeah, so... Um, We've been doing it for a while and people starting to know about you know the berries and that we got them and it's been going good like i said man for all the strawberries we not able to sell um we go ahead and make that jam out of them so we got to keep that product in rotation all year long That's right. Maybe. Maybe. yeah so kind of got to make use of everything on the farm you know because you don't, you don't want to get rid of nothing to throw on them the away That's you right. know what i'm saying That's right. That's right. so you gotta make make do with everything That's so right. making that value added product help us Get a little sales in the winter time when we can't grow nothing. That's right. So just That's keep right. keep the ball rolling That's type right. of thing. That's, That's right. an experiment and see. Oh yeah. What's those, Mr. Brown? The squash. Okay. Zucchini and squash. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um I planted a crop. And I don't know what has some kept eating the seeds, eating the seeds up, and that's something the farmer has too, you know. Boy, everything gotta eat. Right. Right. Everything gotta eat. Right? Everything gotta eat. You <laughs> plant the seed down. So what kind of stuff ever came up? Next thing you know, you see all the seeds inside tore up. Ants, uh, even though you got the, the shelter for the vegetables, everything else hide up in there too. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. So like you said, you used to follow your dad around. So oh, yeah. Herb used to follow you around? <clears throat> huh? He working on it. Okay, 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 he's still working on it. I ain't worried about him, I'm worried about Junior Bud. <laughs> okay, okay, Junior Bud, your grandson. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, get him, get him to come on follow behind me. He'll stick behind me. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I'm still working, so you know, yeah. it's busy. Um, but you know, basically setting all the framework up, that's where we at now, you know, cause this has been a long time coming. So we, we not exactly where we want to be, but we getting there. It's light at the end of the tunnel, that's you right. know, and I think COVID helped a lot of people realize that you got to eat off the land, the land. You need to f eat food that's close by. We went to the grocery store during COVID, we want no food on the shelf. So then we started getting people to come by, you know, and we're like support. So basically we building the framework, you know, like I said, everything is kind of falling in motion and falling in place. So. You know, it's like any hustle, any grind. You that's gotta right. slow roll it, and then once you build it, they'll come. That's right. And that's, that's what right. we're doing now. We we building it um, as we go, and um, everything going good, man. Every day is better. You know, every year is better. So, five more years, ten more years. That's I mean, right. this operation would be a whole different place. That's right. And that's that's what we gotta take it to be able to stay in it. Cause farming ain't the easy thing to do. You know, right. it ain't an easy right. game to stay in. Or playing. <laughs> that's right. no, 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 no. Trust the process. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That's the main the thing. You gotta have that faith. You know, you gotta know it's gonna work. That's right. It's that's like right. any business you go in, you gotta know it's gonna work. If you don't think it's gonna work, you, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Because you ain't believing in yourself or the process. And don't be scared. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Don't be scared. I'm fortunate because um, I worked with Virginia State and working with the advisor with them. And man, they, they sent me all over um, Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, Mississippi. 
teaching people how to put a seed in the ground. Mm. Shout out to VSU. Shout yeah. out to VSU. Yeah. Shout out to VSU for yeah. sure, man. Yeah. VSU is a, is yeah. a great place, land grant institution, offers agriculture for students who want to major in, um, in agriculture, natural related uh, sciences. So any students looking to go to VSU, you know, I encourage you for one, go to VSU. And if you can, number two, is major in agriculture. Because one thing about it, we all got to have food, clothing, and shelter. So, and that's what agriculture is responsible for. We all got to eat. So that means you always have a job. You know, it's job security. It's a lot of opportunities um, out there for students in agriculture. So I encourage you, if you're a student, um, if you're looking to go to school, you know, consider VSU and look into agriculture. Because it ain't all about being on the farm. You don't have to be a farmer. You know, it's a lot of steps that involve between the farm and when that food gets to your plate at that table. It's a lot of businesses and a lot of ways that you can be a part of the industry um, without actually being on the farm. That's so, right. That's right. you know, yeah. look it up, look it up and um, take advantage of that resources. It's right here close to home. Um, they got some really good programs that can help everybody succeed and move forward. So, yeah. shout out to VSU. VSU. When I was with my dad, you know, I thought he was punishing me. Drop them plants, boy, drop the plants. The pig hit me in the back of my feet. You know, because That's I won't right. move fast enough. Right. And I said, if I ever get away from here, I never do this. Never coming back to this. Place. And what happened? I'm right back at it. <laughs> right back at it. Hanging out, Brown Town Farm, man. Everybody to walk, talk. Hey, let's get it. All right. So, Herb, you alumni, VSU? Yeah, yeah. I went to VSU. I uh, graduated from VSU in 2009. I uh, majored in agriculture, business, economics. And at the time, I didn't really realize I was going to be a farmer. My goal was just to get a job, start a career. And now... Um, with being back on the farm and trying to build this thing back up. You know, that degree really helped me put things in line. Right. And not only the education helped me, but the people and the contacts I met really helps you uh, get ahead in the industry because, you know, everybody know information or have resources that can help you and your farm and help farmers. So, um, you know, it's a real good connection there to bring, you know, this whole agriculture thing together. Right, right. Right here, we basically show people that you really don't have to take, a, it really don't take a lot of space to grow stuff that you need uh, like on the farm. So you really don't have to have a lot of space. You don't have to have a whole lot of land. You can make your own raised beds or your own garden at home. You know, don't take a lot. So in there, you got carrots growing. Um, you got some uh, lettuce and different things growing in there. And um, again, these old tires that was on my granddaddy tractor, my uncle tractors and all back in the day, they got old, and then we've sat put use soil them. in them yep. and use. Them. Like yep. I said, on the farm, you always gotta be thinking of ways to, to keep things going and utilize everything you have. So yeah, here in this hoop house, this actually this unit is called a, a hoop house, a high tunnel. A lot of people refer to it as a greenhouse, but the difference between a greenhouse and a high tunnel is a greenhouse has heat um, and fans and exhaust. Uh, this is just heated by the sun, so we're able to extend the growing season longer or grow earlier in the season of spring. So in this tunnel right here, we had initially planted an early crop of squash and zucchini, um, but they didn't come up well. Um, some kept going in and digging and getting the seeds out, and some of them made it. So we're leaving those there to harvest off of that, and in the meantime, we're planting these uh, grape tomatoes in the ground, and once the squash is done, um, it, this will all be, you know, grape tomato harvest coming okay. soon. So, um, in the summertime, we do a lot of grape tomatoes. We sell a lot of those wholesale to different businesses around uh, throughout Virginia, Maryland, and Carolina. And um, this is a crop in the summer that really keep us busy. And um, as you can tell, again, we in this hoop house of so this high tunnel structure. It's warm here. Yeah, it's warm. So in the summertime, when it's July and August, and it's real hot, and we picking. We gotta get out here early in the morning and be yeah. finished by about 10 or 11 o'clock. Hey, one of the OGs. Hey, boo. Hey, bro. <laughs> What's happening? How you doing? Uh -huh. uh, all day. Uh, all right. <laughs> Warfield in the house. Yeah. Uh, Rose. Peace, love, and shots to Warfield. Warfield. <laughs> breaking that root ball so when the plant grow the roots can expand out now sometimes if you leave them in a tray 
and the root is real tight and packed, it'll go what they call root bound, and then the plant won't really grow. So I always like to break that root ball and get at those roots some time to get going and in the ground and growing. So these are great tomatoes. And uh, we'll be harvesting these probably about 70, 75 days. And um, they'll, they'll, we'll continue to harvest them through the fall. They'll last up until the cold season. Yeah. <laughs> decks getting the hands dirty. We out here, not only in the streets, we out here in the grape tomatoes. Hey, Herb Brown, man. Hey, 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 moms, dad, you wanna get your kids in agriculture? Herb, man, they got places over here where your kids can work, man. You know, so if any, any kids, kids yeah. anybody wanna come out and join us on the farm and help out, you know, get the experience, I mean, I think it's a great time to, to start to get into um, this type of work or just industry. Like I said, you don't have to, come work on a farm with the expectation of being a farmer. And if you do, it's a great time to want to get into farming. But if not, um, it's still a lot you can learn and use these skills to apply to your other job, yes. especially if you're in agriculture. That's so, right. If you want to get agriculture, you want to grow. You yep. want huh? to be a farmer. Yeah, for sure. You know? So here, this area right here is kind of um, a real important part of the farm. We got a lot of different things going on right here. Um, most people just see this as a shed for storage, but we originally built this shed so when we were working, we could have a place to come in the shed. Mm -hmm. This ain't much shade unless you hit the wood line. So, so we store stuff here, we can come in the shed, and uh, we also keep tools down here so we ain't gotta run all the way back up and the okay. hill back and forth mm -hmm. to get stuff that you need. Uh, also right here, this is the well, this is the hydrant that goes to the well, and the well is actually right here. Okay under that house. And the story about the well is when we dug our first well, we dug it up there on the hill decks and went 500 feet in the ground. Went 500 feet in the ground and didn't get any water. We got like one gallon per minute. So um, we had to dig another well. So we had lost like $7,800 on that well because we didn't get no water. Right. Came down here, um, dug the well here, went 35 feet and hit water. Water, right water to come up. And it was like uh, 25 gallons per minute. So. From there, we ran a line from there to here to this hydrant. This is the main hydrant here. This little um, pole here. This is actually going up all the way up there to where my dad at, at that strawberry field. Okay. So all that line is running on the ground up there to the grapes and then up there to that other field. Mr. Brown, I want to give you something. I'll take you take this on. This Swiss chard. I gave it away for two years. Nobody never heard of it. What's the name of it again? Swiss chard. Okay. C H A R D. You take this home. You, you you cut it up, put it in a frying pan. Mm -hmm. Put your onion in there, mm -hmm. or use some garlic with some garlic if you eat garlic. Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes, you're ready to eat. Don't throw, do not throw the stem away. Chop the stem up, soften the broccoli. Mm. Yeah, so you saute it like, like you fry. Yeah, put a little oil on the pan like you frying some of saute yeah. up. So it's one of the quickest greens that you can eat. You know, like most of the time we cooking collars or kale, so we boiling it, you know, for right. a while and all of that. But that, you know, 15 minutes, you got your fresh uh, serving of vegetables right there that quick. Now this is, this is uh, ruby red and uh, golden or, uh, yellow. It's, it's called rainbow child. We start getting all these colors. Mm -hmm. And the one that's solid green, which is up there further, it's called Fort Hood. And man, sometimes the stems get that wide and leaves get that long. Mm. Pretty though. It's all about presentation and it's pretty. Yeah. yeah it is. Just put it in um, put it in the frying pan. Okay. Chop it up, put the cover top on it. 15 minutes, you ready? Honey, I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Brown Town Farm, man. They got it all over here in Brown Town Farm. Don't ever get it twisted, man. Southside VA. What do you call it? What's, what do you call hey, it? They call it Sova. Uh, all day. Southside VA. That's where we at. We're yeah. Southside. Heard me tell you about the tires. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You don't need a large spot. Hey, get your old dad come out behind him. Yeah. Hey, we 420 friendly on flexing with that. So you want to grow stuff? You gotta learn how to grow. Go. Grape. Yeah. Grape tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. This variety here is called Juliet. It's a real good grape tomato. Um, like I said, we'll harvest these in about. About 70, 75 days, and uh, we'll get all of these in. We just got a, a 
call from a buyer that said they wanted to increase what they purchased last year. So now we're going to grow a little bit more and try to keep them going. And then that way, hopefully, we can have a little income coming in. We can afford to get some more labor and get some more help. Because right now, like I said, we, we, we need some help. We should keep this thing. So, Herb, look, give me a little history on the, on the farm, bro. Yeah, man. Um, so the farm was founded by my great-great-grandfather and his brother-in-law um, in 1908. So the farm over 100 years old. Uh, they kept the farm and the family. And right around the late 80s, early 90s, uh, my Uncle Buck was farming. And um, Buck got out of farming because, you know, he was in tobacco. And tobacco, um, the, kind of, the tobacco markets kind of got, we got un, un, uneven. Right, right. So they got out of the farm and then, and then the farm shut still, man, for about 10 or 15 years. And then when my dad retired, I was going to Virginia State the same year. And um, he ended up taking over the farm. And um, I was like, you know, started growing a little garden. Started, like, rehabbing the fields. You know, we basically, it was trees. And just all the stuff was just growing up, man. The farm was pretty much gone. Right. And uh, we came back out and started cutting cutting the grass, getting everything down, cutting the trees out the fields and bringing it back to life. And then from there, we had a lot of expense in the farm. And basically, I was like, man, it's expensive. We just bought a tractor. We just put a tractor shed to keep the tractor under the shed. Uh, we buy diesel to keep the fields cut. I'm like, we might well try to grow some of this stuff and sell some right. because yeah. we need to offset that cost. Right. <laughs> And it's been an uphill, uh, uphill road from there because, um, you know, we're trying to grow and expand. But when you're starting at the bottom, you know, you got to, you know, you got to start at the bottom. bottom you got to take right. it slow. You got uh, we got a long ways to go, but we still moving, uh, moving forward and trying to, you know, keep things going. Are there, like, a lot of challenges, like being a black farmer? You yeah, know, yeah. You know, you know it, are there a lot of challenges and, and what are the challenges? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I would say it's, it's definitely in challenges of being a black farmer. I mean, there's challenges in farming in general because right. what, what they like to say is in, farmer, in farming, you got a lot of external things that can affect you and your business every day. The weather is one of the main mm -hmm. things. Right. The weather don't cooperate. You might get delayed on plan. That means you're getting your stuff to market later, so you ain't got the income coming in. You can have disease come. You can have the insects. You can have the animals come and eat your stuff up, the deer, you know. Right. So it's a whole lot of things that you got to kind of be prepared for. Some things you can't control because it's all in God's hands, right. right? It's nature. But you got to um, you gotta kind of roll with the punches and don't get discouraged. You got to keep going because, mm -hmm. you know, working with all the equipment we got, some going to break all the time. All the you got to be fixing stuff and then, you know. And then one of the main issues that we have is labor. You know, we don't, we don't have a lot of people who want to do this type of work. But for somebody who's looking to get the experience, and looking to get into this, I mean, our door is open because you're gonna learn a whole, whole lot if you come down here, you know, um, to work with right. us. So um, that's that's some of the challenges that we face, you know, uh, every year. So you know? let me ask you this. So when you went to VSU, <clears throat> knowing your dad and your granddad were farmers, was that designed for you? To, I mean, did, well, you know, you said I'm going. I know VSU has a hell of a Right, right, right. Was that so? You said shit. When I graduated, I went to VSU. Not, no, not really, man. Okay. You know, I was I was more into the media and the entertainment. You know, I wanted to do graphic design. You know, I wanted to be a designer. I wanted to be, you know, mm -hmm. a producer. I wanted to do all of that stuff when I was growing up. So I never really thought about being a farmer because, see, when I was on the farm, the farm owned an operation. I knew we had the land and it was here, but it wasn't nothing going on. Okay, you know, it okay. wasn't nothing happening. Okay. It was just growing all up. I'm, I'm down here staying with my grandma and. You know, it wasn't really nothing happening down here. So um, after I got to VSU, and like by the time I graduated, that's when it started clicking. I was like, hold on. I need to take advantage of the resources that I got here. Mm -hmm. Because for one, if I don't do it, nobody else going to do it. Because right. all of my cousins, they out of state and out of town. And nobody really want to do this type of work because it's hard work, you know. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, for my family uh, to make this investment years and years ago in 1908, I would have felt less of a man if I would have left the farm and not try to invest everything back into it. So, you know, it's about keeping that legacy going, um, you know, for me. And because we can do a whole lot of things in life, but land and creating experiences for people is one thing that will always, you can keep, it'll keep giving right. and right. people can always remember That's and right. come back. The land you know? always going to yeah. give. That's right. Yeah, That's you right. know, the car, I can go buy a car, that car being right. a junkyard, you know, I might get sell it or wreck it or anything, but that land, as long as you keep it, it's going to it's always be there, right. no matter what happens. So. You know, we've been trying to just get things back in order. You got to kind of take advantage of it, man, while we're here, because we all got time to to, 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 to create something that it could pass down. So, so um, as, like, the agricultural, 
do you think they support the black farmers enough? Yeah, yeah, you know, in, in the past, you know, so it was a lot of turmoil between agriculture and black farmers and discrimination. And, you know, my uncle, he, he went through a lot of that. Your um, uncle Buck? Buck, That's he right. went through a lot of that. And, um, you know, he, he led, um, you know, the black farmer movement mm -hmm. and was a pioneer in that, in that space. Um, but now, Mr. Forward, Walker, Mr. Walker, yep, too. Walker, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a lot uh -huh. of folks from South South Virginia, yep. um, you know, who, who went through that, um, that challenge, but now, you know, things are opening up. That's why I, a little while ago, I said, you know, if, if students or kids or anybody want to get into agriculture, if you're a minority, especially, this is the time to do it because things are opening up, you know, right. um, a lot of opportunities are becoming available for minorities in agriculture so this is the time to ride the wave you know sometimes we want to jump into something and do something and it's a plan of action we're going to do it but sometimes you got to jump into it when that wave is you know when that right. wave you know how you know how it is when you catch that wave, wave. you can ride it and you that's can right. capitalize off of everything that's going on while the movement is strong that's right that's so right. don't wait to the end don't wait to the end to jump no no nah, nah, it's like it's like you man congrats yeah. to you with the podcast man that's like right. you riding that wave and it's it is popping you know Thank what i'm saying bro. so it's it's it's, it's dope, it's pure, right. and um, you know, man, we love it out here, man, because South Side Virginia, man, we all we got. Yeah, we you know all what I'm saying? We all we got, and, and, and it's popping, man, and um, we got to let everybody else know what's going on in South, South Side. Side. That's right, yeah. that's right, and it's popping, sure. and yeah. we out here. Not only in the streets, we out here at Brown Town Farms, man. Let's get it, man. So, Herb, what kind of events we got coming up, man? What you got going on? Yeah, so, um, coming up this year, we're trying to get more into the event space. So right now, um, we're probably going to have a fall festival. I'm going to say in probably early October. The date ain't really sealed and deal yet. Mm -hmm. um, also, I got some events that I'm partnering with some other folks on. And um, that, today, that date is to be determined, too. I can't share that yet because that's going to be a major event. I just some celebrity chefs down here. Woo! Some, some, some real, real good about. folks who... Uh, doing a lot of good things in the culinary space. So that's right. that's a uh, event that's coming up. It's going to be major. And um you know, we are going to do some pop-up events, you know? Yeah. A, a lot of a lot of times when it come to Brown Town and the stuff that we have, you know, pop we up. might pop it up. We might announce it the same week. And you know, so normally the jam we can make it from the strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries, but this is um, you know, mustard nice. They give you that grape flavor. So we're gonna harvest some more of these this year. Run another test batch, and once we perfect, perfect the recipe, hopefully they get into the rotation. Maybe by next year or something like that. The jam, put on your toast early in the morning. Yep, that. Ooh. And you can cook with it too. Cook, so okay. um, our jam don't use a whole lot of sugar. So it's like a half a pound of fruit in each jar. So you know, like you go to Walmart or Food Line, you got that clear clamshell. Mm -hmm. So half of one of those are in each jar. So you eat more fruit. And sugar and no additives or preservatives, so it's real fresh. Yeah, you know, got a couple different flavors out there, so everybody really love it, man. For real. Hey, Brown Town, pop up anywhere. Yeah, you know it. Big flex. Yeah, this the coolest spot on the farm. Yeah, the temperature, it right. changes. Oh, big difference from like the sun. Oh, you yeah. might do a little bonfire, a little hanging out yeah. down there during the holidays or something. But yeah, this where we kind of um, chill at. Um, have events and do things that yeah. I'm um, being on the lookout, like I said, for some events coming up, farm to table dinners, um, fall festival, and uh, you know, hey, who knows what else? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Pop so, up. if you got a food truck, let me know. We can do something, pop up, you know, we could do some Friday evening stuff, some Saturday, you know, pop ups. Uh, we with all of that, um, you know, we want to support each other, bring everybody together so they can have a good time. Shout out to the kids too. You know, it's a place where, where the kids can come run around, yeah. have a good time. That full court you know, basketball, they got they everything. Got softball out. field, they got everything out here. Man. Brown town, man. Stop playing with her. Peace, love, and shots to Warfield. Warfield. Southside VA. What you call it here? Hey, it's over. Woo. Yeah, so um, this softball field here, we built this years ago. Uh, and it all started from 
family reunion is basically like uh, family come down and uh, we'll play a north versus south uh, game because a lot of my family is up north because my grandma had nine kids and basically all but two went up north and established a life up there. So I got a lot of cousins. Uh, shout out to the family and why. Um, mm -hmm. Got a lot of fam up there, so they'll come down. We'll play the North versus South game and um, have some fun, you know, man. Just it's all in good fun. But hey, you know, uh, if you got kids, if you got anything, don't want to come out, man, to the farm, man. Just experience, you know. So, yeah, man, we, we, we working, man. we working at it. It's, it's a. Uh, it's, it's a work in progress, but uh, I'm looking forward to what's yet to come, man. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's a slow true. grind, true, but it's dude. a good grind, you know? And um, like I said, five years, 10 years, man, um, I think we'll kind of be hitting different areas of the market because also probably by next year, um, I'm, I'm gonna start having, when I get that building up, I'm gonna start having produce available all the time. Be able to wash everything and then have cold storage in there to keep everything cold okay. and, um, have an area in the front where we can do like classes or if we want to have, uh, you know, some agriculture um, related stuff going on in there, we'll do that. Have some bathrooms, you know, okay. so people come yeah. out, we have some bathrooms in there. Everything you, everything you need for a family function, man. Brown town, man. Yep, get them on the highway, get them on 95, get them down here, man. Yep. Yeah. Here, y'all got the ponds on the property and everything. Yeah, got a couple of ponds. Like I said, back in the day, these ponds were used for irrigation, the irrigation. You know, water and crops right. and stuff. But now, um, you know, do a little fishing or chilling. That's right. You know what I'm saying? My goal is to clean this area up. Mm -hmm. um, and like on like Thanksgiving and stuff, we come back here have a bonfire area, yeah, by the water at night. That's right. Chill. We had a lot of it's rain. Different. Had a lot of rain in South Side of water a little more. Whole lot of rain, bro. Yep. Yeah. Need it. Yeah. Yeah. We got nice statue though, like I said. Like you said, bonfires by the water. Yeah, we definitely gonna, gonna, gonna do some things, man, when it comes to the events and um, try to count, try to get a little bit more of a presence in that space. Mm -hmm. Brown Town Farms, man. Hang out with man Herb Brown, man. Yes, sir. Big we flex, here. man. We out here in these streets, man. Right now we're on Brown Town Farms, man. Out here in these woods. Yeah. <laughs> out here in the country. In the country. Yeah. That country life. South side. Sliding. Country yeah, life. Yeah. You know how we do, man. Mm -hmm. Big flex. Yes, sir. But you got it's all on how you look at it. Because right. somebody else has come here and be like, hey. I want to be here. That's it's right. quiet. It's peaceful. It's chill. So sometimes I feel like we got to market that. We got to right. market. That's right. We, we might not have a Walmart. We might not have yeah. all the city stores and all of this stuff. But it's a time and a place for that. We take a ride for that. Right. But when you come here, you want to chill. You want to relax. relax. You get a peace of mind. Yeah. You know, I get people coming. Bus loads of people from anywhere from Baltimore, you know, up north. Mm -hmm. Anywhere from down south, and they come to tour the farm, see the farm, and they chilling. They're like, hey, this yeah. is calm, it's chill, it's peaceful. Like, that's the really the life they want. Yeah. So we got to market that and keep creating this good content out here and let people know what's up. And then, hey, we get them down here. That's right. We get them down we here. We'll show them a good time. Show them a good show a hell of a time. Them the country, that's you know right. what I'm saying? That's so right. that, that's, that's how I feel like. We gotta step into the game because that's that's the best way to be, man. I mean, that's us. We yeah, represent right. us. Use our land. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. We gotta use nobody else's land. Use yeah, our we land. Just, hey, we get together, you know, bring people together, man. And that's you know, right. that people want that experience. That's right. For sure. Big flex. Woo. We out yeah, here, man. We Big flex, sober, man. man. We we out here in the country. Yep. Um, love this country life. Love it, man. You know, I like, like it. So right here. Uh, this is an actual site of the original tobacco um, bulk bomb. Okay. So basically, this is where all the tobacco used to get processed at. And the concrete slab was here, and then we took all this used material and built this this, this structure here. Okay. And the goal was for this to be a market. But now that like we got some of everything going on, we done outgrew it. So now, as you can see, it serves as storage, she, right. market, processing, it just, right. it's just everything. So that's why. Wait, I, wait your stuff. Yeah. yeah. We're going to build a new building, give us a little bit more space to operate out of because we outgrew this. And um, 
basically, this is where you come. If you want to come to Brown Town, and more than likely, this is where you're going to meet us at if you're coming to get some produce right mm -hmm. here. And uh, this is kind of where we, where everything go down at, for real. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Where the magic happens. Yeah. Uh, this is the area where we keep everything cool at. So in here, we, we, we keep everything cool in there. You got that, that keeping all of that stuff cool and, and ready to go. So Whew. this is where we keep everything cool in this jungle. Yeah. Yep. So we keep everything, uh, you know, everything going here once we pick. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. That's the jams. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Round town jam. Big flex man out here, man. Herb Brand, man. Appreciate your hearing coming through, man. You know, you know how we do it. Hey, you got your best strawberries in the world. <laughs> Word Brown up. Town. Hey, give them, give them, give them the whole whole nine on Brown Town real quick. Hey, where they can find y'all at? What y'all got going on real quick? You know, tell them. Hey, we have Brown Town Farms, Warfield, Virginia. Follow me on all the social media platforms at Brown Town Farms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Brown Town Farms, Brown Town Farms at Gmail. You know, check me out online. All the contact info there. Reach out to us. Um, if you want to come by the farm, do a farm tour, if you want to purchase some produce, if you want to have your next event at the farm, you know, just get with us, man. You know, we, we here and uh, we're trying to stay in the game. So come through and support. You know what I mean? It's major, man. Major things, man. Herb Brown doing out here at Brown Town Farms, man. Hey, doing it for the culture. Hey, come out, man. Hang out. Brown Town. Get your next event at Brown Town. Don't play with them. Stop playing with them, Herb. Hey, hey, hey it's time. Southside VA. Time. So it's over. You know what it it's do, over. man. Brown Town, country man. Country boys. Stop playing. Country boys. That country <laughs> life. Don't you love it? We out here. The streets gown. Summertime cookouts. Look us by the stop sign. Too far for the jungle juice. First time I drop rhymes. And the yacht roll was 631. Wallfield Wildcats. Plus the church was back. Circle D for barbecue. Freddie Young for snacks. It feels so good. Once in a while, throw it back. Throw it back.